What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. And talk about Sunday Rivals, who, after a lot of fans asked for, did go in and put in a basic, but they did put it in season mode. Obviously, it has all the options we've come to expect. Quarter length, the number of playoff teams, how they're going to see them. It also has a schedule type if you want to go down and select whether you're going to do pro, college, whichever way you want to handle that. So a really good job at listening to the community and putting in enough to satisfy those that wanted to go out and run through a season. They have a preseason that they go through, and it's actually got some nice little touches where when you go in, the way this game simulates, I think faster than any game that I've seen, where you actually go through and see each game play out. And he did say that this is all correctly done based on the game running in the background. Normally, when you have a game sim like this, you don't actually see what's happening quarter per quarter. You rather just see the end result. So there was something refreshing about seeing actual scores generated that way, actual stats generated from that gameplay, and knowing in a way they kind of go hand in hand. Even though those stats weren't done correctly for the time being, you assume they will be going forward. Obviously, you take a look at the top performers from a game, and they did a really good job at actually taking that and going out where you can track everything, because there are people that, you know, just go after statistics and games, and they have, you know, their rankings of obviously every team, but also of every player, of every position, you can go through and sort who your leaders are in those specific categories. So a really good job, in my opinion, at very quickly adapting to what the community wanted, putting it in their game, and really having it function, not completely in a way unique to them, but in a way that we're not always accustomed to seeing. So if you haven't tried this game out, it's not strictly simulation football. It actually is kind of, some people have said, like a Roblox football. It's kind of a different look to it, but it's a, le it's a look unique to itself, and I actually kind of appreciate it from its arcade standpoint, what it's bringing to the game, and they continue to do a really good job on this product. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out, and you know I will be back in the week with more commentary.